Well, several cities also waking up to find out if they'll be paying more in taxes this year. 10 TV's Laura Borchers joins us now from Gahanna, where that city is bracing for some big changes. Laura? That's right, Jeff and Angela. 54% of the voters here in Gahanna said no to the tax hike. Now, uh, residents did turn out, that is a for, according to the unofficial results, uh, residents did turn out and say that they did not want issue 17 to go through. It would have changed income taxes from one and a half to two and a half percent. Now, the city mayor has asked them to support the issue, and she said that this senior center is one of the things that's set to close without the extra money. She says that there's just not enough funds to keep it open. City leaders are also looking at the Gahanna pools snow removal and even policing here. All of those items are proposed to take a hit. Residents here spoke up at the polls yesterday saying they like the tax structure in this community just as it is. Now in the wake of Gahanna's tax failure, uh, they do now stand at one and a half percent. And this is one of only a couple county cities maintaining a tax level that is below two percent. City leaders later today plan to get together to look at the budget and see just where cuts may happen. Reporting live in Gahanna, I'm Laura Borchers, 10 TV News. Reynoldsburg also <clears throat> defeated an income tax increase last night by a margin of 55% to 45%. We have a full list of election results scrolling at the bottom of your screen. To find out how your neighborhood or school district voted, go to 10TV.com. You can find results right there on our homepage this morning.